Imagine a Dynamics processor that has everything you need for a modern digital tool. This is the Dynamics plugin. In addition to traditional parameters such as attack, release, threshold, and compression ratio, we can adjust the hold, which is a rarity in such plugins, and also select the softness of the knee in a very wide range, up to 24 dB. However, the most interesting, in my opinion, is the ability to adjust the delay, allowing the plugin to examine the audio signal before processing it, thereby reducing the amount of audio distortion at the output. We also have two times or four times over sampling to eliminate aliasing and the channel linking parameter with which we can apply the audio processing in dual mono mode. Obviously, Dynamics was designed to be used as a mastering compressor, but it does a great job of mixing audio too. With zero latency and no oversampling, it can generally act as a utility channel compressor or even a gate if ratio values are less than one to one. Of course, Dynamics can work as a parallel compressor. For this, it has a mixed control and for real enthusiasts, there is an advanced sidechain signal control panel, which is useful for both mixing and mastering audio processing. For example, in order to reduce the impact of low frequencies on the signal compression. Let's take a look at some examples of using the Dynamics plugin in a mix. On the percussion track, it's used as a parallel compressor operating in dual mono, meaning the left and right audio channels are processed independently. Let's hear what will change if we use the plugin in stereo. Now the compression seems to be more aggressive and the stereo field is narrowed because the compression of the left and right channels is the same. On the other hand, in dual mono mode, the left channel is compressed significantly less, resulting in a live groove, while still controlling the overall dynamic range of the percussion sufficiently. If we talk about vocal compression, I mostly use automatic release, which is implemented just wonderfully in the Dynamics plugin. It is very sensitive to the process signal and adjusts the compression envelope so that we get the most natural sound at the output, even if the processing is extreme. In addition, there are quite bright sibilants in the voice recording, so in the EQ on the side chain, I raised the high frequencies so that the compressor responded more sensitively to the sibilances and thus compressed them more. Another interesting nuance is that we can prevent the plugin from compressing the signal above the selected value in dB using the range parameter. It's now at its maximum position and allows processing up to 60 dB. But we can choose, for example, to reduce it to 2 dB and the compression will always be gentle no matter how dynamic the voice is. Very handy. Quite often, I control the dynamics of one audio signal with another. For example, on a Minimook track, compression occurs when the lead vocals are playing. This is done through an external sidechain channel. Let's take a closer look. Compression like this helps to unmask the voice that was slightly obscured by the Minimook signal. You may have noticed that in most processing situations, I use 5ms latency and enable oversampling. This is no coincidence because in this way, I allow dynamics to work as cleanly and transparently as possible. Of course, in certain situations, you might want to distort the signals with the help of a compressor to make them more punchy and aggressive. But with this song, we have high quality recorded audio signals 
that we want to process gently and smoothly, and Dynamics copes with this perfectly. Thank you again and see you in the next video.